Hi guys, Vertus Education here with episode 7 of the Crying Free SDK Beginner Tutorial Series. And in this episode, I'm going to be teaching you how to add materials to your terrain. So, over the past few videos, we've been going over how to uh, actually create your terrain, you know, an introduction to the terrain editor, how to sculpt it out, detailing it, and so on. And now it's finally time to bring it all together and bring it, bring your terrain to life using uh, materials. So on our terrain at the moment, we currently only have this little black and white checkerboarded uh, material. It doesn't necessarily look too realistic. It's not what you'd expect in real life and so on. So and uh, don't forget when you shoot it, you get this no surface type uh, plane that appears over it. So, having said that, we're going to be teaching you how to add some materials onto your terrain. Now, this works just like any other terrain editor. You can add no, new, uh, you can add multiple different uh, materials. You also have layers. You can adjust the colors and so on and so forth. So, the way that we're going to be doing this is through the layer painter in the terrain tab. But before we can actually do anything with this. Uh, we're actually going to need some find uh, to find some materials. So to do that, we need to go ahead and open up the material editor. You can do this simply by pressing M, or going over here and pressing this little football uh, icon that says uh, Material Editor. So from here, we can either create new materials or use preset materials. For now, I'm just going to be showing you how to uh, use some of the preset materials and then just dump it into the layer painter. So, having said that, let's just go ahead and find a material for our terrain. So, there's a whole bunch of pre-made ones by default, uh, and I'm going to get them from materials, terrain, and then I'm going to choose a nice lovely mud. Now, normally there is a preview over here in the top left hand corner, but if you do want to just quickly check if it's not working, all you got to do is just pretty much hover over like the diffuse uh, or so on and uh, you know, you'll get it to pop up uh, just like so. But yeah, uh, you can see your little preview there. Uh, for some reason, I cannot see the final material, but it doesn't really matter. You can get a general uh, good view of it just from the diffuse itself. Um, I'm not going to explain what diffuse, specular, bump map, etc, etc is for now. Um, you know, when we go over creating our own stuff, I might go over what it is. But uh, for now, all you need to know is diffuse gives it the, you know, the look. Uh, so, you know, I've decided to use this mud, uh, this mud material here. So what I need to do is right click it and go to assign to selected objects. And then from there, we need to go ahead and go over to our texture, uh, terrain texture layers tab. You can access this by going over here, and as you can see, this uh, is the terrain texture, nothing else, uh, only the terrain. So having done that, what we need to do is go ahead and press assign material, and you'll see the material on our terrain has now completely changed, there's that mud uh, detail. If I go ahead and shoot it, you can see we've got some mud flying up, and uh, so on. But you know, it's all white for now, it's not necessarily what we want. Um, now, keep in mind, we've already got one default uh, terrain material here, uh, which is mud. If you want to add another layer, you can easily do so. Just add it, and then, as before, go to the material editor, choose your second material type. Uh, for this, I'm going to be using uh, that grass. So I'm just going to right-click it, go to Assign to Selected Objects. Over here, uh, press Assign Material, and boom, it is done. Anyway, so right now, all we got is the first layer just uh, tiled over the entire terrain. You know, we really need to add some color to this. So the way we're going to do this is using the layer painter. The layer painter essentially allows us to paint our terrain textures onto it. And we also have a few different properties for playing around with the color and so on. So, for example, over here we have our brightness. We can choose a color, you know, with a little eyedropper tool, etc. We can play around with altitudes and slopes so it only gets applied to certain areas and things like that. But for now, let's just go ahead and uh, start painting it on. But uh, before I do that, actually, I need to make sure I change the names of my two textures. So, the first one here is... Um, the mud. So I'm going to change this to the mud layer. And then the second one, I'm going to change it to grass. Just so that I know what exactly I'm painting, as it does show up in the layer painter down here. Before it was just default and new layer, which is really 
uh, inappropriate for doing this. Anyway, so let's just start painting on our grass. Now, grass is generally green, so I'm going to try and use a green colour for that. Now, grass is generally darkish green, so I'm just going to give that a go. Now, you may have to play around with the radius and so on up here, and maybe the hardness. I'm going to leave the hardness at 1, but radius is going to be about... Uh, ooh, it's too much. A a about, let's say, 7 for me. I'm going to get a generally small brush and just start painting this uh, on here. All you got to do is just click... And just remember that Radius does exactly the same thing as it does in the Terrain Editor. It just changes the size of the brush. Hardness is just the strength. Uh, down here you can choose your color. You know, I, you saw me choose that dark uh, green. Brightness just allows you to further control that, you know, turn down the brightness of that color a bit like so. Now, whenever you do start using these colors, one thing I do want to note is that you should always save the layer so the color and the brightness is saved. Otherwise, when you switch from one to another and back, it's going to go back to white and you've pretty much lost the whole color and you've got to re uh, repaint it, which is uh, rather annoying. So, having said that, I'm just going to get that green color again, that dark green that I liked. Uh, let's move it over a bit. And then it's going to make sure I press save layer, flick between them, and it's still there, which is just great. So I'm going to make it a little bit darker, just like I had it before, and then uh, we can work with this. Now, remember that you can paint both of the layers. So if I go ahead and choose the mud layer now, I can paint that straight on top. It's really great and works like pretty much any other layer system. So, let's just start painting on uh, mud uh, where the rivers are because, you know, you usually have that uh, mud beneath the river bank and uh, so on. So, I'm going to try and get that dirty brown color that you usually get when you're working with mud. Something a bit like this. And I'm just going to play around with the radius here a little bit. I'm going to set this to about 9 and uh, just start painting away and see what kind of results I get out of it. So if I just go down here quickly and press Control G, we can actually see uh, the mud in the in the uh, in the level, and you can see there's actually a fair bit of detail to it. You know, we've got our normal, uh, we've got our speculate. Well, you can't see the speculate, but you can see the normal. You can see the diffuse. This may even be a parallax map there, or just some really nice texture work. But uh, it looks great. And when you shoot it, you can see we get the. Uh, the mud impact effect and that changes with the color so you know that's pretty much the basics of uh painting your terrain just remember to save your uh materials each time feel free to paint your terrain uh you know just experiment with it a bit see what you can see what you can get out of it uh try and find the best materials uh that you can keep in mind i am going to be showing you exactly how you can, uh, you know, create your own materials as well, so you can import your own uh, grass textures from Photoshop or GIMP, uh, whatever you use to do it. So uh, that's pretty much everything for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.